is no denying that when you practice seymour attention a different path will unfold for you all right your your awareness will increase and when you increase your awareness and when you practice your attention um your whole life will be destroyed naturally all right and that is a beautiful thing it's going to hurt the ego a lot but just observe the ego and let it go it's no it's it can be very it can put it can be portrayed as this big thing but it's actually in reality very small now so when you practice seymour attention you will gain back your true masculinity you will gain back um, the qualities of a masculine man now when we observe the mainstream consciousness and when we observe them the ordinary man it's obvious uh, that they are low on energy and they have a very foggy mind okay and that is okay two every path is different but you will separate yourself from that path because you do not resonate with that path no more because you see there is no you will see that there is no benefit there's no food for the soul on that path you really think the government doesn't really care about you yeah they give you health care and they provide with you with a good doctor and all that that is beautiful that is good but we have never been taught true inner teaching so you can't trust them you can't depend on them for your own happiness for your own success you will just keep on suffering and that is that is why most people are so caught up in the cycle of pleasure these days it doesn't matter if you're if you're 50 if you're 15 if you're 18 the younger you are the easier it is probably to get saved but most of these people a lot of them they're constantly in this loop of just this cycle of pleasure i see people they constantly scrolling and it's so normal these days to constantly scroll on social media but it's the worst thing to your brain it messes up your mind completely it destroys you and people do it. it's normal to do it for six seven eight hours a day you are not you are powerful but you cannot be that the, 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 power, the phone is a powerful thing too and it can hijack the mind that is why that is <laughs> one of the reasons people use their phone because it hijacks their mind and people find pleasure in that it's fine too though it's fine too but eventually you will gain back the true masculinity within you you will be humble you will portray strength true confidence and you will use silence as a teacher I can't speak for you when I'm saying you I'm saying me I'm saying we I'm saying everybody all right doesn't matter it will it it awakens something within you when we practice transmuting energy it awakens something within you that will kind of force you force us to change our perspective on things understand and know that most people cannot go two days without having an orgasm without ejaculating and it's not about suppressing the energy it's about transmuting the energy people don't want to feel their emotions people love being distracted 
And one thing we got to remind ourselves too is that we're not better than the guy with the foggy mind and the guy with <clears throat> living for constant pleasure. We're not better. We might be more masculine, have more and portray these qualities more, but they have a different path right now. They're probably going through some stuff too. We're not better. We just see things more clearly and we got more energy. That's it. It's easy to get to get caught up into this loop that since we are sexually disciplined, we're better than everybody else. And because female choose us subconsciously, that we have something to offer that don't that most men don't have. That's true. That is very true. We have something to offer that most men don't really have. Understand that when you're with a woman and she got you, like when she can sense that you are losing your sexual discipline, her attraction level for you goes down drastically. Because she knows the power of it. She knows. She might not be aware of it. She might not intel she might not logically understand it. The females, they're so tapped in with nature. Understand how the female moves and you will understand a lot. If you completely understand female nature, because female they're they they are very tapped in within their nature, a lot of them. Most of them, even though some of the some of them are baby dolls and they wear a lot of makeup, still caught up in their nature. We are too. But if you lose your discipline in a relationship with a woman, your sexual discipline, you completely lose it, lose it. She will lose some type of attraction towards you. It kind of depends on the woman, of course kind of depends on the woman that you're attracting into your life but if you're constantly having lust in your mind if you're constantly having having these thoughts in your mind you'll be portray some type of needy behavior and you're not letting wisdom kick in all right and wisdom is one of the most important important thing that you can have it makes you understand and see things clearly not react to things that appears on the path whatever happens outside of you work yourself Work, do the inner work of not reacting to whatever happening outside of you. If you can really do that, and that's not easy, especially not when you're surrounded by a lot of unconscious people. You gotta do inner work. If not, if you're not doing inner, some type of inner work and you're surrounded by people outside, you will go back being unconscious with them. This is the importance of doing some type of inner work and staying true to that. You will end up doing some bad hack, bad actions and that will end up having a bad thought, bad, uh, quote unquote bad thought. You'll go back doing the old shit without even being aware of it. And you will start to love it again. What you're going to do now? Lay in your bed and watch some corn, do some dumb shit. Now you're back in your lower self again. It's, it's, it's just a game of being aware. It's a game of your attention. It's a game of being true to what's going on within. It's just a game of attention. Don't let your attention be fooled around and played around like a ball with a hundred people kicking the ball 
It's your most valuable thing in whatever realm you are in. Especially in here. It's so valuable.